Hello friends, welcome to MS Subti Webcast and in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create a new certificate templates for certificate authority. In the last video we just see the steps to how to install enterprise root certificate authority in Windows Server 2012 R2. Once you have your own certificate authority there is a lots of fun to play. In big IT organizations company you will face many situation where you have to create a custom certificate template to issue special purpose certificate using certificate authority. You can create a new certificate templates by duplicating an existing templates and using the existing templates property as the default for the new template. So this time let's try to create a new certificate templates and using the certificate authority web enrollment page to request a new certificate based on that template. So let's see the demonstration and for that click on tools open certificate authority management console and under the certificate authority expand your certificate authority name click on certificate templates and these are the all the certificate templates which our certificate authority can issue to base on request. So let's create a new custom certificate template and to do this just right click on certificate templates select manage this will open certificate template console and you can also open this console by using MMC. So let's create a duplicate certificate template of web server certificate template and to do this just right click on it and select duplicate template. Uh, under the compatibility, certificate authority compatibilities with uh, Windows Server 2003, you can also change with as per your requirement. Let's select 2008 R2. Okay and okay. And certificate recipients uh, compatibility with uh, Windows 7 and 2008 R2. A compatibility change will add the following template options. So click on OK. And click on General tab. Let's specify the new template display name. Okay, my lab web server and this is our template name. Click on request handling tab and here's the options to select allow private key to be exported. So if you want to export the private key, that time you have to select this checkbox. Under cryptography, uh, here's the minimum key size is by default 2048 and these are the CSP provider. Right now we have a Microsoft RSA and Microsoft TH. On extension tab, Here's the application policy and by default the policy is for server authentication. If you want to add certain uh, application policy, you can click on add and here are the all the application policies that is available on our certificate authority. For example, for Azure Array working, that time we required a system health authentication application policy. So that time if you are creating for certificate template for Azure, that time you have to add system health authentication application policy but for this demonstration i'm uh, happy with uh, server authentication only click on security tab here we have uh, authenticated users and by default all authenticated users have a read permission as well as administrator have a read and write and domain admin read write and enroll and enterprise admin the same permission if you want that authenticated users can enroll for the certificate that time you have to select this checkbox and that allow user to enroll for this new certificate template. So click on apply, click on OK to save the custom certificate template and uh, let's come back to the certificate authority management console and under the certificate template just right click on it and select new certificate template to issue then your certificate template will be available to issue to the client request. So under that uh, we have to select our newly created certificate template that is MyLab Web Server. Select and click on OK and that's it. And this now makes the newly created template available for use and available for use when requesting a new certificate from the CA via web enrollment page. Let's check that. I'm going to open Internet Explorer. Let's specify the path HTTPS colon double slash localhost slash certif survey. Click on continue to this website. Click on request certificate. Click on advanced certificate request. Click on request and submit a request to this CA. Click on yes. And here we have to select the certificate template which we are going to request. And let's select my lab web server. Okay, and here's the information. And let's specify the uh, friendly name just for demo. Click on submit and click on yes. And now click on install this certificate. And here we go. Your new certificate has been successfully installed.
let's open the certificate store click on uh, file click on add and remove snappings select certificate click on add select my user account click on finish click on ok expand certificates expand personal click on certificate and now this is the our my lab web server issue 2 and uh, here's the friendly name which we just specified and intended purpose is server authentication so this is the way how you can create a certificate template and uh, then you can create a request by using certificate authority web enrollment and that is for this demonstration thanks for watching this video